Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Thursday here, 23rd Jan. Stocks made a new all time high, 38.50. Dogeed. Gapped open here. Small gap. Uh, we closed at 20. We opened at uh, 17. We're now at uh, 13 and a quarter. Dollar yen is through. Broke that 70 level. It's heading back lower. Uh, of course, short dollar yen looks okay. Not much going on today. Looking forward rather than looking backward. We continue to sell high ones in stocks today. So we'll sell 19s, 23s today uh, in the equity market. Um, we'll try and be long yen um, against the dollar and we will be waiting for ECB we also uh, have this long yen against the Swiss uh, this is getting a little bit stale here uh, the target's still 112.60 but I don't know we're getting uh, I'm getting worried about the dollar Swiss side we went neutral dollar Swiss yesterday and now with this risk off dollar Swiss could uh, end up going lower so if you're still running the Swiss yen uh, either lighten up or have a plan see what see what see what happens at 113 the figure which was yesterday's low bounced pretty aggressively off of that Anyway, let's look at Euro. It's, uh, it's ECB today. Um, not too much to say. We obviously have this tremendous trend line here, uh, which defines things on the downside. You can't trade this before ECB. Um, and I think what is likely to happen is um, we trade through it on a false break, and then we end up going higher. I'm pretty sure Lagarde's going to be in cheerlead mode. She'll say some um, cautious things, which will send us moderately lower, and then she'll say some, but I have a positive outlook on the future. Um, we need fiscal instead of monetary policy. This is all bullish euro, uh, so I think the risk on euro is the upside here. Um, but the point is, is you can't be, you can't have a euro position now. So just uh, sit there now. It's it's 7 a.m. You got five and a half hours uh, for the press conference. So think about your levels. Think about what you wanted to. The downside is obviously uh, defined by this trend line, which comes in at 69. The low yesterday was 70. Just looking. Uh, yes, yeah, 70. <laughs> I'm just looking, but my glasses aren't on, so that's small print. I'll just guess it's 70. Um, so we're waiting on this euro. Euro yen uh, obviously broke through new lows with this dollar yen movement. Not much to do here. If you're short euro yen, um, you may want to consider. Uh, turning this into dollar yen so you can just buy some euros on maybe half the position and turning it into dollar yen for the ECB take the euro out of the equation CAD yen which broke our heart yesterday um, we did not have this in we should have um, the whole price action yesterday the whole structure of yesterday was a little bit disconcerting you know, we woke up and stocks were at the all-time highs, and they should have been lower. And and dollar CAD went all the way down to 30, which was which was insane. Uh, 130, 30 dollar CAD, um, which just pissed us off, right? We were just like, man, what the hell's going on here? Uh, and it took us out of our game, and then we missed this CAD yen. We talked about it on. Uh, on Tuesday uh, but it is what it is if you're short CAD yen great this looks like it's gonna go a hell of a lot lower uh, you 
you got both sides working for you. Dollar Yen is, is in bear mode. Dollar Cad's in bull mode. Um, hang on to that one. Let's go to crude. Crude um, looks terrible. Where is crude on this set? Uh, yeah, there she is. 55 now. Holy mother of Jesus. Um, crude looks like it's going to go to 50 bucks here. Uh, it just has that feeling. Heck of a gap there. Um, gap open here. You can sell this closure here at 56.70. Um, next support is 55 bucks. Balance off of that, and then you sell through it again. Short crude uh, is the way forward here. Um, be careful diving in at 55.66 if you didn't get short yesterday. Um, you want to try and sell high ones today. Crude is volatile, so shit moves around a lot. So you, you'll probably get a chance to sell um, on the 56 handle at the minimum. What else we got? Bitcoin, uh, we still like this long. We're consolidating here. Uh, you want to be buying this anywhere between 8,000 and 7,000. Um, I know it's kind of a wide band, but... Um, you know, I think with the coming horror show that we think is about to happen sometime this year, Bitcoin is going to be the real winner. So uh, try and grab some Bitcoins. If you're an old timer like me, you can just own them on the CME if you don't have a wallet. Um, but there's thousands of ways to own Bitcoin. Ask Google, uh, and I'm sure one of you, you know, whoever's, whoever's giving you foreign exchange liquidity out there, surely um, will give you crypto liquidity um, but if you're an old timer and you're or you're an institutional guy um, CME has the contracts so uh, go ahead and uh, buy your Bitcoin there if you need to that's all I really got for you uh, in a little bit of a foul mood because of that cat yen so I won't belabor the point today euro focus obviously ECB Tomorrow is a massively important day with all of these PMIs in Europe and in the UK. Um, so get your mind right. I think tomorrow is going to be a very, very, very big day. But today uh, is going to be an important day as well. And if I visualize what I think is going to happen today, take out the lows in Europe, but then close above 111, and then PMIs tomorrow are going to be good. And Euro is going to be on the run, top side. This is what I'm envisioning. Um, doesn't mean it's going to happen. But this is just one of, one of the many scenarios that are in my head. And it's sort of the strongest scenario. So I'll be ready for that. Uh, but it's step by step, right? First, got to get through the ECB. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.